spend a life-changing week at the castle in Germany. I drank champagne with kings and queens, the politicians praised my name. Those were someone else's dreams, the pitfalls of the man I became. For years and years, I chased their cheers, a crazy speed of always needing more. But when I stop and see you here, I remember. Uh, I was dragged here by my wife. She, uh, <laughs> she was here a year before me. I love the magic that happens when you walk up to the front doors of the castle and you see a whole new world uh, and you can really experiment and do so many things that I think you wouldn't do in your daily life. And the people, the people are what make in the... You won't find anything like this uh, in, in the world. Bavaria in, in the area of Spessart at uh, Rienek. Yeah, it's a really beautiful castle in, in the middle of nowhere and... <laughs> it's amazing being somewhere in a completely different bubble of reality. You are for 10 days, you are doing something you would never do in your real life. You can leave your real life completely behind. In one moment you're painting, in another moment you're on stage, in the third moment you're preparing a dance performance for the following day. Yeah, Imbe is actually a very old term. International. Musicians. 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 Werkstatt. Werkstatt. International music Werkstatt. It's more like the different kind of of arts, like handicrafts, uh, acting, of course, making music. Now, everyone thinks it's about music, and that's where I lose some of my non-musical friends, yeah. and then I say it's music. Music, so it's yeah. it's a muses for all the arts. And there's a fantastic opportunity to meet people, like-minded people from all around the world that share the same compassion and energy. It's open to everyone. Uh, it gives us something amazing, something that's very different from a normal world, sort of to say. If you want a week of the best time of your life, music, art, acting, and workshops of things you might have never seen in your life, with scouting and guiding friends, Imme is the place to be. Do you want transformational change in your life? Do you want to grow on a personal level? Imme, one week of your life. Yeah, so we as the team uh, take uh, 
quite some time to decide on a theme because we want every image to have a certain uh, frame and a certain mm, thematic direction. We create uh, a different, you could say a, a different world here at, at Rene Castle. So we are having a theme, the living library. So we are in a story, uh, us as well, the participants need to bring a costume as well. Mm -hmm. And we enter a story where characters of books come alive somehow, but it's, it's a story not entirely fiction, it's how fiction meets reality in a in a sketch, in a sketch that goes for a week. And that has the purpose for once to drag the people out of their everyday life, um, but also to have things that you can connect to. Uh, so for example, when I say to you, now be creative, uh, invent a song. You would be, uh, how should I do that? And what is this going to be about? But maybe if I tell you, so this, uh, this year is uh, about uh, Roman Empire. Write a song about you uh, as a Roman senator. That's already a lot easier. I mean, it's not easy, <laughs> but it's easier to, to imagine how it could be. And, I think the theme is a license to go crazy. It yeah. just if we didn't have it we would maybe be caught in our own make our own boundaries. But we can go crazy and build we've had ships at the inn where we yeah. have a bed now that was built and we have crazy paintings and a throne. A throne. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so we can set up as a team, we can set up our event around that theme of the living library. <laughs> That's the way I heard it. <laughs> the core of IM is definitely scouting and guiding. You don't necessarily have to be a scout or a guide to participate in IM. When we talk about scouting uh, on IM, uh, it happens all the time actually. I mean it happens more at certain program points like the one we'll have tonight. We'll have a campfire which is a typical scouting activity. And we also have international evening where we share our traditions, uh, we show each other other uniforms and so on and we also have a scouting cafe where we talk and discuss sometimes even some very serious topics and uh, that it's a great platform to exchange practice to see how it's done in other countries. You notice that people come from everywhere and do not the really traditional scouting stuff. We don't live in a tent and cook our food on a campfire, but we still have much in common. We all share similar adventures from trips. Yeah. So it's, you can notice that even though we aren't behaving as real regular scouts, everyone has the scouting background. It embraces the, the basic scouting ideas or values, mm -hmm. like learning by doing. We are not picking, doing theory, whatever. We just get the people together and do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, about uh, the value of helping each other, mm -hmm. of being uh, a part of something bigger, the deeper understanding. I'm, I'm a, an individual and a single person, but nevertheless, I'm part of a bigger mm -hmm. group. And we understand each other as a group. Mm -hmm. To me, scouting has many different facets. Uh, one of them is, as Pia said, uh, internationality, uh, and the other is uh, to give young people the ability to explore and develop uh, their abilities and to, to lead them in this process. And in, in my opinion, IMVE is exactly doing this. And actually, the format of IMVE, uh, especially if you lead Cub Scouts, which are younger kids, is organized in the same way that we organize camps. So around the story and with characters and this frame gives uh, the opportunity to work on workshops and on scouting skills uh, in general. Other scouts ask me, why would I come to Imve? I say, everything that you know and you love about scouting, 
is at Imve, but 10 times fold. So not only the content of it, but also the format of it is a reflection of how scouting works. It's about being uh, proud to contribute and proud to do work. Like for example, if we need 10 people to put up a tent, there will always be like 15 volunteers to do it. Like people are not avoiding work, but they are proud to help, to be part of it. And uh, also to do with sharing, like um, on my first Inve, I remember uh, this image, still like someone opened the box of chocolate. No, it was a small chocolate, sorry. <laughs> and uh, they passed it behind them. They weren't even looking who are they giving it to. It doesn't matter, but the, the value is that whatever you have, you're going to share with the others. Inve reflects scouting because everything that we do relates back to what it means to be a scout. You know, the creativity, the passion, the respect for each other, the respect for um, the activities that we're doing and just the fun, most importantly. Um, I think that that all represents what it means to be a scout. At the beginning of Imve you, you choose uh, one workshop you want to participate in. Cards making or this year we have also uh, a clowns workshop or um, we have an Arduino programming workshop. Um, we have totally different kinds of workshops and you do bigger or smaller projects in it and yeah, present it at the end of this week um, to all the other participants what you have achieved in that. workshop is a good way of getting to know people in a smaller group, though you will cooperate with new people anyway. In the first days we will have a program where you will learn to know other people. So even though first when you come to the castle and it seems everyone knows each other, it seems overwhelming, that feeling will go away in the two first days, I think. I would not call it learning, I would call it more um, trying out and experiencing. I think with all the workshops especially, it's also a place and time where you can do things that you've never done before, that can be simply weaving. Um, and you take your time every day in the morning and to sit down and do something that you probably would not take time for when you're at home. You know, very low energy first thing in the morning. <laughs> but also like you had to make things. I made a thing yesterday and it wasn't even terrible. It's really nice. Hey, welcome to our workshop. We are doing illumination, book illumination, which is the medieval art of making stuff look really fancy. This feels very, very wrong. Oh my god, I studied <laughs> literature. This isn't what I went to university for. Uh, so much of the organization, so much about the discussion culture, decision making, reflection, this just seeps into social projects everywhere else in life. Yeah, and also to, to handle a really diverse amount of people so so you learn how to to handle um, the the different behaviors um, of, of people and uh, you, you're not freaking out uh, anymore yeah. so you get used to it and and, um, and, you, and, you, and you adapt to that yeah. okay this method doesn't work with this person let's do something different yeah and you also learn methods um, how to do projects or um, yeah just yeah the practical if, material this, management yeah. <laughs> Time management. Yeah, even when something went wrong, 
uh, it's not the end of the world. So, so for other people, they are freaking out yeah. and you just relax. And so, yeah, it, yeah, it's now how it is. And yeah, we have to do the best out of it. Yeah, yeah, we find a different way. Yeah. Definitely a lot has been used. <laughs> <laughs> for the workshops, I enjoy the variety of opportunity that you can get. Um, the workshops that are present at Enva for the last two years that I've been, um, I've been presented with opportunities to do things that I never would have been able to do anywhere else or to the level that I was able to do them. We don't sleep a lot. No. No. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> no, no we don't. Uh, Inva is very exhausting and everyone should be aware of this be before coming here. Uh, I can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a voluntary decision not to sleep. Because it's not that you are not allowed to sleep or there's not a problem. There's sleeping time. It's you, After three years you just feel any minute I'm not spending with these people I got to know here or with the program, it's a waste of my time. We drink a lot of coffee and drink a yeah. lot of coffee. <laughs> and even more coffee. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> you managed to come through the day and have enough energy. And so far, I think I've never slept that little. Mm. But I also don't feel super tired during the day. It's amazing somehow. And also, always in the evenings, we're down in the basement. And it's hard to leave because it's also a lot of music and chatting and a very special atmosphere down there. But anyway, in the morning, you get up for a workshop. And, um, Somehow, I never managed to go to bed very early. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the one of the things that that let Inver magic happen: the sleep deprivation. Because <laughs> you get you get more emotional. Uh, that's good and that's bad. And you you get more excited and it, you get sillier. You lose your boundaries. That's one thing I think that makes Inver work. <laughs> yeah, but I draw so much energy mm. out of this week that. I don't need it as much. It's really okay. <laughs> but as soon as Inver is over, you fall into a deep pit because all that sleep finally yeah. is is uh, yeah. It, it's showing that you didn't have that much sleep. And yeah, I sleep when I can. It may be during the middle of the day, but I I do I do catch up. Yeah. <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> I would just say no. Just not, don't, just no. <laughs> it's nice. And I would say also, you exchange uh, physical energy into um, what you call it, energy of your soul. It's really like you feel very, very uh, enlightened, uh, maybe the right mm -hmm. word. Your creativity, your energy, your soul is feeling very, very large. Your body is completely yeah. exhausted, so it's uh, maybe a, a good exchange you do here. But it's it's everything is on a voluntary <laughs> base. So there are very rare moments where you can actually feel that you are tired. Because we have program all day long, and then when the program finishes around ten, uh, then we keep on partying. Uh, um, but that's it. This is one week, there's not a lot of sleep and that's something that you do when you come back home. So no, no, we don't sleep. And for the international evening was a fantastic opportunity to see not only what each different representative from each different country could have had to offer in terms of each country's culture. Where? On Raglan Road, when? On an autumn day. Or when? On the 4th of July, 1806, where we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. Right, that's the first part. You have a when and a where. But each individual country's kind of scouting values and how they interpret what scouting means to them in their country was really interesting. A line dance. So we would ask everyone to get into two lines facing each other as this couple are. We'll have our leading partner. That's the evening where uh, every country uh, represents uh, um, yeah, itself and uh, this happens 
with performances. Next of all, you need a place in Ireland. Every place in Ireland is glorious, whether it's the river, the mountain, the waterfall. And everyone brings food and drinks and we have a lot of fun and they make performances and present their countries. All the best of Danish sweets, so you can get your savory food from the Austrians and Germans and then come here for the final treat. <laughs> and so you can get to know their country also by a funny or different side of view, not the usual what you would see in a tourist prospect. <laughs> you need to make reference to that because you don't live in Ireland anymore for economic reasons. <laughs> And it's a really interesting and really nice uh, area to get uh, all this international feeling um, in a really short time. And uh, yeah, it's also very tasty most of the time. Uh. I did not expect this. You know the shark from Iceland? And what do Icelanders do at International Evening? Sharks. They stink. <laughs> it's the most disgusting thing I ever tried, but that lamb. They can also cook good, so quite interesting. I think you never experience it in such short time and that's a really good thing um, and one most favorite point uh, during the week. Do you want some brunost? To remember the girl you either married or wanted to marry and she didn't want you mar want to marry you or you were going to marry until the British took you away or sent you away or gave you another job. <laughs> then there is creative evening where you see all the creativity that happens in Imbe and you realize that all these amazing people are also really, really talented. I really love the creative evening. Uh, it's open to anyone who wants to perform. There's no pressure of perfection. Generally not at Imbe, but the creative evening is really a lovely space for people to go on stage and do something they feel is creative and everyone is supportive of it. Yeah. And in the preparation of the piece as well, everyone is out there to help, uh, whether it's the participants or us as teamers. <laughs> I love creative evening. It's so amazing to see what crazy stuff people have come up with on stage. And I must confess, I have never been a teamer at creative evening because I just want to sit in the audience and watch and laugh. 
at everything. It's amazing. There was an old farmer who lived by a rock. He sat in the meadow, was shaking his fist at some boys who were down by the creek. Their feet in the water, their hands on their marbles and playthings, and in days of yore, there came a young lady. She looked like a pretty young creature. She said, "Our knights, if you think this is dirty, you're fucking the <laughs> My name is Orestes, and if there is one thing you should know about me, is that I am extremely romantic. <laughs> Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain, by <laughs> Vivian Green. Well, uh, obviously Vivian here has never been hiking or in the mountains. Because <laughs> if she went, she would have known that this is very, very dangerous, right? So in order to protect you all from folks like this, I have tweaked it a bit. And it's a bit more user-friendly now. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> And since I'm not a very musical person myself, I really enjoy the comfort of having yeah, a big group that just accepts my performance or, mm -hmm. or my, my piece. Yeah. So I really, really love the creative evening. <laughs> Yes, uh, IGs are interest groups, which basically describes exactly what we do. So we have a group uh, where someone who is interested in something can share that either by teaching or asking to learn it from other people. So for example, we've had an interest uh, group that was called Music for Dummies or Beginners, where people who are not aware of music or haven't learned it professionally learn it from someone else or an interest group on uh, how to bead your own necklace or how to cut glass or anything that interests anyone uh, can be done within this time. firstly to inform about the elections, to uh, reduce hesitation to talk about it, because you'll get some nice arguments why it's important to go to vote. You can also make up your mind if you don't want to go voting, that's almost okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, what I really like, I have uh, condoms with me, and they say... Better safe than sorry, go vote. It's the typical situation that you try to do a moderation and to bring things across, but because people are so creative, <laughs> it takes ages because they have to express their creativity there all the time. So, it shouldn't take longer than 45 minutes, I think. <laughs> 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 we're not, we're not, we're not. My favorite program point is a big game. Big game. Um, it's mostly at the end of the week. The whole uh, program is um, integrated or framed by a storyline. Mm -hmm. So there's a kind of climax over the week, and the big game is normally the point where the climax, the whole storyline, is getting or coming together. And a uh, big game is basically that the participants are parted into a little group like six to eight players mm -hmm. and there's also uh, a storyline about a game. I mean this is how we end in the burn down everything. 
Who needs a castle? It's pretty drastic. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And then you hit the start button and then 100 persons running around the castle like mad because they want to win the game. Okay, here, as you see, the room is full of smoke. I can't see actually. Yes, that's how it is. If the room is full of smoke. And this is for me always absolutely great because this is such a purge again in, in energy at the end of the week and everyone is absolutely crazy about these games and, and, and running around and playing out and acting and having fun and going completely wild. This is just great to see how, how easily the people are just, yeah, let themselves go and really feel into the flow of the whole energy there. And this is why I like this program very, very much. I mean, this is art. Art has to be drastic. Art has to be painful. The other event is, uh, is more a scoutish event, which is the Scouting Cafe, which is um, a time frame during the week where we sit together and discuss topics that, uh, that are relevant in our lives and also in our scouting life. Brings us back to the basics of why we are here and our methods and our uh, organizations. So the Scouting Cafe is about scouting topics and we try to give it a frame where we can discuss and exchange information but also go into depth within topics that may be interesting or affecting each of our associations uh, and that we want to learn new things about. So how do you lead your group or how do you organize a camp? That's a, that's a really uh, an intense uh, and, and enlightening uh, method. I would have to go with uh, be prepared. So it's the time where we have a campfire and we are around the campfire and I feel like a scout. Mm -hmm. We wear our mm -hmm. uniforms, we sing our songs, there is a fire there. He was a sort of um, I don't give a crap kind of guy. Right? He was really relaxed. Uh, I really had to look at one of the old photos. He had this very distinct pose that he did. It was something like, like this, with the belly out as possible, and he was just... Um, and I really feel that we are a family. So all these people from around the world doing the same thing that we would do. Uh, it feels, feels like scouting is working, is proof that it's working. So this always is a point where I really enjoy and I really believe in it. My favorite program point on Imve would be the concert. So, I, I was pretty nervous, so I drank an entire bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> if something happens, well, just ignore it. <laughs> it's a really magical moment. Uh, uh, it's, well, at the end of the week. Uh, and uh, we have here at the castle, we have this very beautiful little chapel where, um, where we try to squeeze in all the people. It's a great opportunity where people show their talents. Yes, I'm in love, who looks at you the way I do, when you smile, I can tell. just amazing to sit in the audience and to listen to them and look at them and there you have professionals but also people who 
are maybe getting out of their comfort zone, who have practiced with others, who, who, who decided to perform, and it's just really, really amazing. <laughs> don't have to be professional to, perf to perform and this is what I like uh, about Imve a lot. Um, for example, I'm not a good singer, you might even say I'm a bad singer, but there are people uh, here who are more musical and they invite others to join them. So I joined the choir practice and it was great feeling to sing together and we're gonna perform in a concert. And if I was alone, I would never dream of going up to the stage and singing. But here there's always someone who will help you, who will um, support you. Uh, and then you can even do things that normally you wouldn't do, like perform on a concert. Oh, oh, yeah. want to say that it's so wonderful uh, people are looking after each other yeah. but you are also looked after yeah, yeah yeah people take care of one another yeah. that's basically it and the background of the people is not important it's not important if it's an mm -hmm. if it's a CEO or somebody who is plumbing or who mm -hmm. is in the creative mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. it doesn't matter yeah. we all come here we are all free to, to try things out and to teach each other and also just look just look at the crowd on the last day. Half of the people are crying and it's not fake tears. It's just the week was wonderful and beautiful and now we have to part. And we have something that's called the Inve Blues. That's when you feel really, really sad because you, you are not longer around. But it's... You it's, still have the warmth. You, yeah, and it's a, it's a good kind of sadness, you know. It's sadness that came from, from wonderful experiences. And that's what people just have here. <sighs> I've never met a group of people that I've enjoyed spending time with as much as I have at IMVA, undeniably. Uh, I was talking with several people who have been at IMVA over the last years uh, or decades. And many of them actually found out what is their profession, what is the thing they want to do in life. People from Iceland that were working together in a project in the Netherlands, uh, where they were then afterwards working all together and they built her profession as a motivational speaker and as a, as a, uh, as a coach. And she's now working together with those people in the Netherlands. It's so weird, at the same time it's so beautiful that, that these people had the ability to, uh, in this event, uh, find out what they want to do. 
for most of the people, they come here and they explore themselves and they, they grow here as a person, as a scout, as a human being. I drank champagne with kings and queens, the politicians praised my name. Those were someone else's dreams, the pitfalls of the man I became. For years and Love. years, creativity, colorful, fun and happiness, togetherness, dedication, <laughs> friendship, <laughs> surprise, scouting, curiosity, fantastic.